President Biden says U.S. troops will be out of Afghanistan by August 31st, ending America's longest war. So what's next for Afghanistan? CBS 2's Dick Brennan here with what the president had to say today. Dick. And Maurice and Christine, he had a lot to say. President Biden says he won't send another generation of Americans to war in Afghanistan with no reasonable expectation of achieving a different outcome. And he says no one has been able to succeed in nation building in that country. So let me ask those who want us to stay, how many more, how many thousands more Americans' daughters and sons were you willing to risk? How long would you have them stay? Despite critics who say it's too soon, President Biden says U.S. forces will be out of Afghanistan by the end of August. If this isn't a mission accomplished moment, what is it? No, in your there's no mission accomplished. The mission was accomplished in that we get us, got Osama bin Laden and terrorism is not emanating from that part of the world. The president talked of the losses in blood and treasure. 2,448 Americans killed, 20,722 wounded over the course of a 20-year war. On my orders, the United States military has begun strikes against al-Qaeda terrorist training camps and military installations of the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. That was in October 2001, after the 9-11 attacks. But now, with the U.S. pullout, there's been a surge in Taliban violence, and many worry about a takeover of the country. President Biden got testy when asked if he trusted the Taliban. It's a silly question. Do I trust the Taliban? No. But I trust the capacity of the Afghan military, who is better trained, better equipped, and more, re and more competent in terms of conducting war. There are also fears for the lives of some 18,000 Afghani translators who helped us during the war and fear being left behind. They're now in a race against time to get out alive. People like Shirin Aga Jafari. We are right now at the final stage. They're going to slaughter us anyway. President Biden says he wants to expedite a visa process for translators. The whole process has to be speeded up, period, in terms of being able to get these visas. President says the law does not allow the interpreters to be evacuated to the U.S. as they await their visas. He says he wants that law changed. Mr. Biden also says he does not feel a Taliban takeover of Afghanistan is inevitable. Maurice and Christine. All right, Dick, thank you.